Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1 Release Candidate 2. Apple just dropped this brand new release right after the Apple Silicon event, one more thing event, the earlier today. So I'm going to go over all the things that you're going to need to know. That We've got a now a release date. I'm going to go over known issues, some extra user reports, and everything you're going to need to know. Let's jump right in and get started. First, the big news is Apple Silicon Max with the M1 chip. We got a brand new MacBook Pro 13 inch, a brand new 13 inch MacBook Air, and a brand new Mac mini desktop. Really great news. I'm going to be covering that later. I already did a video for a buyer's guide going over all of the things that you're going to need to know if you wanted to purchase a brand new Apple Silicon Mac. I go over all the different options and the differences between each one to help try to help you make a decision. I'll put a link in the description for this one. Back to the Big Sur. We also got a release date. We've been waiting for release date for months now and we've got it. Thursday, November 12th is the release date for Mac OS Big Sur. It's going to probably hit at 12 o'clock noon Central Standard Time. That's when normally Apple drops their all their releases. And I'm going to let you know as soon as that goes live so you can try it out. Let's talk about the full installer Delta Combo and T2 Bridge OS updates. Apple's made the full installer available right away this time around because the last couple updates, we had to wait a day or two before we got the full installer. So it's really great for those of us who want to do a fresh install or do some deployment testing. I've got a link right here that'll bring you right to the Mac App Store to be able to download the release candidate number two. All you need to do is click get and it'll open up software update pane and download the update right to your applications folder. So that's a really cool trick here. We'll close out. And normally I use uh, install, install Mac OS PY or a Python script to be able to download the full installers, or you can get it from developer.apple.com. For the Delta update, it comes in at 3.2 gigabytes, and the combo update is 4.50 gigabytes. For the T2 OS update, it has been updated from 1816.12.560 to 1816.12.561. I also wanted to mention that we have a new software update catalog URL, and this is this is what's used for downloads for when we get updates and full installers, bridge OS updates, and stuff like that. The previous beta was index-1016 seed-1016. The current one now for production is going to be index-11-1015. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that, and that's what will be going live on Thursday. Let's talk a little bit about the install process here. I went back to installing it through the software update mechanism so we can match what you guys will see when you try to install yours. The download was already going automatically, which is really nice. So when, as soon as I opened it up, it was almost done downloading. And I wanted to make sure that that preparing part that we ran into the last couple of releases didn't take a long time, like up to an hour. And it didn't. It literally took five to 10 minutes in the preparing mode, as you can see here, about 10 minutes remaining, and it immediately booted to install. So it was really nice to see that this was pretty much fixed up on the final release before we go production on Thursday. I wanted to show you the build version here, and I want to call out that we do not say, it does not say beta in here. We've got 20B28, that's a normal build version that we might be getting for production. It very well might come out Thursday and have the same build number. We're gonna have to find out for sure, and I'll let you guys know that as soon as we see that live, but again, this might be the very same version that we see, unless there's a major problem found between now and Thursday. This is the Delta update. I just wanted to show you what that looked like, what you guys will see. There has been some reports that when they hit the update now button over here, they were actually updating the full installer. Um, normally you can click the more info and then you can get the Delta update and click install now. But the, basically clicking install now should do that the same thing for you. So hopefully that when you click install now, you get the, the proper Delta update if you've been keeping track or the combo update, which is a little bit larger if you had previous releases. After every release, I make sure I always go over the developer notes. But in this particular case, there was no changes from release candidate one to release candidate two. And that was really surprising. There had to 
be some changes, some fixes, anything. There was nothing. If you look at the notes, though, they all they look like there's changes there, but they're just a cut and paste. I always do a compare between both documents to make sure I'm not missing anything. And there's nothing. I even went out to Appleseed. There was nothing in the Appleseed notes either. So uh, I don't know why Apple didn't decided this time to not list any changes there. What, it, what we did find, though, was some new device IDs and platform IDs. Martin Noble found the platform IDs for the new Apple Silicon Macs, the MacBook Air is 10.1, the new 13-inch MacBook Pro is 17.1, and the Mac Mini is 9.1. I keep a track of all the board IDs, device IDs, model identifiers, and machine models at this at, on this page, and I'll put a link in the description for that so you guys can keep an eye on that. And the, what we need to understand is, is that from Big Sur going forward, the installers will be looking at the device ID. Every single Mac with a T2 will have a, a device ID like this, J132AP. And that's what it'll be going on to make sure that it is proper to install the the install the update. What's interesting is, is here's these brand new ones. I was able to find these new ones in the installer, and that's how Martin Noble was able to match them up here with the the model number so it was really cool to find those i'm also getting some reports that using the full installer to update from any previous version or mac os catalina we're getting some bridge os update errors and i'm working on trying to figure that out and what the issue is there and i'll post an update when i got a new video or an article on that one the other thing is, is I, I was checking the AirPods automatic switching and it was actually working okay. Um, as you can see here, sometimes that icon was still not kind of coming up. And I mentioned that in my AirPods uh, video. And again, you f finesse with it a little bit, kind of turn them on, turn it on back and off and on. And it does eventually start to work. Again, it does look like it's a little bit better, but it's not fully kind of worked out yet. And again, I hope Apple will work on that to get that kind of fixed up here. That was the only other real issue that has been reported. I hope this video created value for you guys. If it did, click that subscribe button because you'll get more content from me in the future. We'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.